Shigara Kitomura is the leader of the League of Villains in My Hero Academia. He is also the so-called successor for All for One's ideals. And with All for One currently out of action, being locked away in a prison cell, things become interesting as Shigaraki now has to coordinate the movements of the League of Villains on his own. But leaving all that aside, up until this point, we never really got to know much about Shigaraki apart from the shards of flashbacks here and there. And that's up until chapter 235, titled This video will be spoilers for anime only of My Hero Academia. So here's a spoiler warning in case you are one. And also if you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like as it helps me get this video to reach out to more people and if you are new to the channel, do subscribe if you like the content. Shigaraki has always been a mysterious character in his own way. We never really got to know a lot about him, like what motivated him to become a villain? Why was he covered by all these hands? What was his origin story? And thankfully, chapter 235 to 237 cleared the majority of these questions. Shigaraki Tomura initially went by the name of Tenko Shimura. Shimura being the family name of the previous one for all owner, Nana Shimura. Tenko's father had this repulsive attitude towards the whole hero talk as personally he was angry at his mother Nana abandoning him at such a young age, which to be fair was in order to protect him from any dangers of all for one. We see a stranger drop Tenko off at their house after he caused some trouble, whom we later learn to be none other than All for One himself. And he possibly handed down the decay quirk to Tenko, as we learned that Tenko was indeed quirkless by the age of 5. By that age, quirks generally come out. So we can already see some parallels drawn with Deku's story, as he was quirkless at this age as well. And since Hero Talk was in, in a way banned at Tenko's house, all his family members could do was try to cheer him up by telling him that sadness will eventually go away. But this was not what Tenko wanted to hear them say. He wanted to hear them say the exact words that Deku wanted to hear. You can become a hero. I wonder how it all would have unfolded had he heard those words come out from his dear ones. In the case of Deku, had it not been for his optimism and hope, we could have easily seen him turn into a villain. Deku had all the reasons to, he even had All Might, the one person he admires the most in the world, tell him that it may not be possible. Had it not been for his optimism and positive approach for the future, things could have gone south. Thanks to his optimism, in the end he did hear those words come out of All Might. But in case of Tenko, he wasn't so lucky. His father punished him and at times beat him up whenever he used to talk about heroes. Tenko eventually discovers that his grandma was indeed a hero thanks to his elder sister Hana. But things take a sharp turn when Hana lies about Tenko finding the photograph. I'm guessing she was scared and blurted out a lie like children generally do. His father ends up beating Tenko saying that heroes are nothing but someone who hurt their own families in order to help others. While all this was happening, none of his other family members intervened and stopped his father. That's how things were at Tenko's house. He's later seen sobbing with his dog, hugging him and crying. And it's at this point that something really bad happens. His quirk awakens and at first his dog decays and dies. Then his sister Hana and when the rest of the family members arrive, he accidentally touches the ground and the decay propagates through that and kills them. All the deaths till this point have been purely accidental with Tenko not knowing that it was his quirk that led to all of this. Then when his father arrives, he touches him with a purposeful killing intent, having all that hatred pent up inside of him. It's at this moment that he loses full control and turns to the dark side. You can even see that in his horrifying expression here. Tenko then roams around the streets hoping that someone would help him, accept him. We see a few people notice him but they turn a blind eye towards him seeing his appearance. He gets beaten up by some thugs in the alleyway. That's when All for One approaches him and offers him help. You may think that it's very kind of all for one, but remember it was him that gave Tenko the quirk and it was him that targeted Tenko as he was the grandson of Nana. He even offers him the hands of his family members to make sure that he never forgets his roots and keeps him in check. That's kinda messed up if you ask me. All for one tells Tenko to go kill those thugs who beat him up previously as a first step towards becoming a new version of himself, Shigaraki Tomura. Tomura meaning to mourn for something and Shigaraki being the last name of all for one. This comes as a nice surprise. It gives the impression that one for all intends to be a father figure to Tomura 
as he gave him his last name but we all know that all for one has ulterior motives behind taking in denko one being his relation to nana shimura and indirectly to all might and another being denko will become a vessel for all for one in the future but shigaraki tomura doesn't know about all of this all he cares is for the destruction of everything around him he was molded into such a character indirectly by his family and directly by all for one it was such a tragic chapter to read i felt really bad knowing it was the same situation deku had minus the abusive father goes to show how it takes just one bad day to turn oneself into a ruthless villain like shigaraki tomura i just wanted to make a video on it the instant i finished this arc what do you think about this back story do let me know in the comments below i'd like to thank my subscribers for your support it really motivates me to make more videos and helps me develop the channel and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet it's okay you can subscribe whenever you feel like thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one